up to NHP. Teachers, students, families, our barn, our home for you and me. Time for NHP TV. Welcome back to another episode of NHP TV. I hope everyone had a good winter break. I know I did. I was very productive. Oh, really? What did you do all winter break, huh? Well, I watched TV and took a bunch of naps. Uh, sure. That was very productive. Hey, don't judge me. It was winter break, okay? All right, all right. Moving on. Quarter three has begun and everyone is back on the grind. This month is quite busy. The juniors just finished taking the PSAT on the 26th. It was stressful, but I'm just glad it's over. Speaking of exams, College Board is also posting updates for this year's AP exams. Check them out on their website. And for all you Model UN people, we just had our annual North Hills Conference, Samun, on the 23rd. It was on Zoom, so it probably was a little bit different this year, but I'm sure everyone still had lots of fun. And another part of this very busy week is report cards. Report cards were sent out on the 25th, so keep checking your mailboxes for your grades. I'm tired of grades. When's our next school holiday again? MG, we just had MLK Junior Day. Did you already forget? Well, no, I did enjoy that three-day weekend, but come on, I need another break, especially because school has been extended by a week this year. I was kind of hoping we could have a snow day earlier this month. Are you referring to that one day where it snowed very, very lightly and then it melted as soon as it hit the ground? Yes. What about it? <laughs> I guess in Texas that's as close as we'll get to a snow day. Anyways, you're actually in luck. We have President's Day coming up on February the 15th. That does make me feel a little bit better. Hang in there, guys. We can get through the quarter. Especially if you keep watching NHP TV. And now, on to current events. Hey everyone, I'm Basil. And I'm Abiha. Welcome to our January current events. As you all know, the past few weeks have been politically tense due to disputes over the elections and results, and concerns over President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on January 20th. These unfortunate political disagreements across the country accumulated in a violent riot at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. Five people died as a result of the riot, including Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Eugene Goodman, a Black office police officer, led the rioters away from the unprepared officials in the Senate chamber. Officer Goodman as an, is an Army veteran, and many appreciate his quick thinking that helped keep the Senate official officials safe. The Senate floor staff were also able to protect the votes and bring them to a safe location before the mob found the ballots. The integrity of the votes from the state level presidential elections may have been compromised if not for the amazing Senate floor staff. The vote ultimately confirmed Biden's position as president elect. As a result of the riots, President Trump is now being tried for inciting an insurrection. We don't know when the impeachment trial won't take place because the Senate is out. The earliest it could take place is 1 p.m. on inauguration day. President Trump is the first U.S. president to be impeached twice. If President Trump is impeached, he will lose his pension, yearly $1 million travel allowance, lifetime secret service ser services, and the ability to run for office again in 2024. In other news, there's been a new strain of COVID recently. It's believed to have originated in South Africa, and it was discovered sometime in mid-December. The strain from South Africa is different from the one recently detected in the United Kingdom, known as B117. This new strain is suspicious of being the cause behind an increase in global cases. It has caused mutations in the virus, sp virus spike, spike proteins that allowed the virus to gain easier access into the cells. There is no current evidence that suggests that this causes more severe illness or increased risk of death. All we know is that it raises the risk of infection. The COVID vaccine is out and there is a plan set in place to distribute it. The first people to get this vaccine are all the healthcare work personnel workers, essential workers, as well as frontline workers. 
The next group consists of people aged 65 and up and people aged 16 and up with underlying or chronic medical conditions that make you more at risk for severe illness from COVID-19. Make sure to stay safe and be smart when going outside. After the high that was December, January is a time to calm down from all the holiday festivities. This doesn't mean that there's nothing to celebrate, however. January is National Blood Donor Month, and it has been observed since 1970 with the goal of increasing blood and platelet donations during winter, which is one of the most difficult times to collect blood products to meet patient needs. A blood donor card or a driver's license or two other forms of identification are required upon check-in. Individuals who are 17 years of age, at least 110 pounds, and are generally in good health may be eligible to donate blood. There are many benefits to donating blood. Aside from the satisfaction of saving human lives, blood donating also helps to burn calories and irregularities in the bloodstream and reduce the risk of heart disease as well as cancer. To donate blood, visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to make an appointment. That's all. Now on to monthly favorites. Today you drove me through the suburbs. Driving like there were no lanes around. It's time for Sneaker Watch. No, no, it's time for monthly favorites. You don't think I have a favorite sneaker of the month? I'm sure you do. But more importantly, let's take a look at some of the movies that came out this month. Double Dad, The Dig, and everyone's favorite, Fate the Wink Saga, all came out on Netflix. MLK slash FBI and The White Tiger came out in theaters, and Cinderella featuring Camille Cabello is coming out on February 5th. If you're looking to watch something a little shorter, check out part two of the Euphoria special, season three of Cobra Kai, or season four of Carmen Sandiego. Fans of The Good Place might enjoy seeing Ted Danson in Mr. Mayor, unless you only want to see Ted Danson as an immortal being. Then this show might be a bit too basic for you. Speaking of basic, the Yeezy 700 V3 retail price dropped from $300 to $240. Wait, we're talking about shoes and fashion at the end. Fine, but don't group the sneakers in with all the other shoes. I should just get my own segment. I could name it Drip Too Hard. Anyways, we started this month off strong with Olivia Rodrigo's new song, Driver's License, which has broken the all-time record for biggest single-day streams in U.S. Spotify history. Also, it hasn't been confirmed that Drake is releasing an album this month, but at least we have the official album cover. No, sorry, that was canceled. If you're looking to watch something with some action, you can check out the NHL 2021 schedule to watch your favorite hockey teams play. In baseball this month... Shh, we don't bring that up here. Oh, right. In football this month, fans may have been excited to see their favorite teams advance to the next round of the NFL playoffs, including the Browns, Packers, Saints, Chiefs, and Buccaneers. Sorry, Steelers fans. For those of you who prefer Alabama and college kids at high risk of concussions, you might be happy to hear Bama won the national championship. Roll Tide! For fashion this month, you might see fashion trends from the 60s and 70s, like flare pants, bell sleeves, and patchwork jeans making a comeback. Now, what you've all been waiting for, Pranav's snazzy shoe corner. Some popular sneakers this month are the undefeated Air Max 97, the Air Max 91 Volt Golds, the SB Dunk Low Pro Street Hawkers, the Air Force One Ray Guns, and the 1977 Vintage Blazer Ray Guns. Virgil Abloh also teased a new set of Off-White and Nike collabs titled The 20. And that's it for Monthly Faith. Drip too hard. <sighs> Hey guys, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Hmm, I'm still thinking about mine. What about you, Anna? I certainly have a couple, but I'm not sure they'll pan out. Oh, don't be so negative. See, that right there, my main resolution was to be more positive. Well, I guess we're already off to a rocky start then. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at some of our very own resolutions here at NHP TV.
Ooh, add to cart. I need this. Add to cart. I need this too. Add to cart. Mm. That's crazy. Good game, guys. Good game. Uh, I gotta do some homework. I'll see y'all later. Ah, it's 10 p.m. I finished all my homework and done things for tomorrow. It's time to sleep. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. The expectations and realities of the new year. Hopefully this year is better than last. Make sure to let us know about your New Year's resolutions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this episode of NHP TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, and add us on Snapchat at nhp.tv. As always, we're keeping you up to speed only at NHP TV. Thank you so much for watching this episode of NHP TV. If you like this episode and want to see more, make sure to check out our latest video down below and make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to get a notification every single time we post. As always, we'll keep you up to speed only at NHP TV. See you next time!